welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Just a quick update on a few things. Haven't really got a whole lot of work done this week. Uh, been a long week. It's been very cold outside. I've been working every day. So, uh, like I said, this is just really quick. Kind of update a few things. Want to talk to you real quick about my SMWG Cancer Awareness Build. have done a little bit on that not much like I said it's uh, been really cold outside and I've been really busy with some other things but I did uh, go ahead and do some sanding on the body where the uh, where the mold lines were on the front on the sides here on the uh, the aft pillars I went ahead and sanded the Camaro badge off of the front fenders because like I said this is going to be the black concept car and it didn't have the Camaro badges on the side. Done a little bit of work on the engine. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. I've got the engine halves and everything put together. I've got it painted. You can see the, the blue oil filter, um, the aluminum uh, on the transmission, the engine block. I've got the black cover on the top. I've got the Camaro decals installed on that. And I'm going to go ahead and put some future over the top of those decals just to make sure that they're sealed on nice and tight. Um, but I want parts of that to shine and I want other parts of it to be kind of matte looking so it has a contrast. I know that the challenge for doing this is that this car is going to be black, the whole car. So I'm gonna to have to have different shades, uh, varying shades of black, uh, gloss, matte, flat, just to kind of give it uh, some, some, some contrast and make the part stand out. So that's what my biggest challenge is gonna be with this uh, particular car. That plus the fact that it's really cold and I haven't been able to go out and do any spray painting yet. So that'll come with time. In the meantime though, I'm working on the engine, I'm going to work on the chassis, I'm going to go ahead and work on the interior of the car, um, see how far along I can get on things. So, with that being said, I'm going to do something else. And uh, I've talked about, let me move some of this out of the way. I've done a video already on this car. This is my 1966 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova SS. Um, I did this along with my Monte Carlo SS. There's a video for this and I'll put a, a little tag up there so you can go watch that video if you'd like. But the thing about this particular model and I've had it for a while. Zoom in here. See if you can see it a little bit better. It don't have a very good gloss on it. Um, I mean, the paint job's nice. Uh, it's it's smooth. It just it, it don't have a gloss on it. Uh, this is what this was a tester's spray can paint that I used on this particular car, and it's a metal flake. Uh, the flakes are actually kind of large. Um, which might lead to the fact that the, the paint just don't have a really good gloss to it. Uh, I think that the metal flake might have actually uh, fragmented the, the, the gloss as it dried. Uh, I don't even know if that sets how paint works or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some future floor acrylic. Actually, it's called Pledge Floor Care, um, but it's with future. I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to put it into a bowl and I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to brush the whole car with that and I'm going to let it dry. And so this is kind of a before and after video. We'll see what the finish looks like after it's done. So let me give you a real good close look at this before I do anything. You can see there's there's quite a gloss on the windshield, but there's not a not a big shine on the on the rest of the car. So that's what I'm trying to fix uh, by doing this. So I'll come back and I'll show you the finished results. Okay, so I'm going to take my pledge floor care and I'm going to put some of it into 
this container. Now, I washed the container before uh, I got started just to make sure I don't have any dirt or dust or anything in there. And I've also wiped down the car to make sure that I don't have any dust or anything on the car. Now, I keep them in a display case, so they're not going to be dusty anyway. But I want to make sure that, you know, I have a nice clean surface while I'm doing this. And uh, I'm putting it on this uh, paper towel so it'll absorb the excess uh, when, when I actually do this. So I need to make sure that I got enough room. All right, so here goes. Dipping my brush in the future and just liberally applying it to the car. So I'm doing all the external surfaces, the windows. I know this looks like there's an awful lot on it. I'm trying to avoid the tires as best I can because I want them to maintain the, the rubber look that they have right now. It's trying to, to move on me while I'm doing this. But that's the reason why I'm doing this on, on a piece of uh, paper towel. The way I can kind of turn things around, move things, and uh, I don't actually have to touch the model to do it. Now I'm doing this pretty liberal um, just to make sure that uh, just to make sure that I don't have any dry spots. The future will actually uh, hopefully coat everything before it dries and uh, give everything a really nice sheen which is uh, you know what I'm going for here so so there you go I mean that that's pretty much it um, I've covered the whole model now um, I did not get inside the engine compartment to, because I, I want the the flat black to, to remain flat because um, it gives it a really nice contrast is this engine's got a little bit of detail to it it looks pretty decent so yeah We'll let that dry for a little bit and then I'll come back and give you a final update and show you what it looks like in about an hour or so. Okay, I also told you that I was going to try and seal these decals that are on the Camaro engine. So I'm just using a smaller paintbrush and I'm actually going to pull this over. This is one of those magnifying lights, which is a nice thing to have. I've had it for a while. I had put it away and I didn't know what I had done with it. So I actually found it a couple of weeks ago and decided to bring it back out and put it to use here. So the one thing that I did on this uh, this engine cover for this this car, for this black concept Camaro for my SMWG Tribute build was this is molded in black anyway let me zoom in on it here Let's see if you can okay so the engine cover is molded in black so I had to paint the silver in the middle that's actually aluminum and then I don't know if you can tell the difference uh, not sure if you can see the difference. The covers over the valve covers are kind of a matte colored black. That's the actual, that's the plastic. I haven't done anything to it. The other shade of black that you see where the Camaro decals are at, um, I actually did that 
with a black Sharpie marker and colored that in just to give it a contrasting black color. The future doesn't want to stick really well over the top of that Sharpie marker. Uh, it's not running, it's not picking up the color, but it's kind of, uh, I don't know, pooling, pooling up in, into, it's, it's almost like a wax uh, on a car. So uh, maybe the Sharpie has uh, some sort of uh, wax component in it, I don't know. But I think that I'm probably going to have to do one more coat of future on that. But so far, I think it looks pretty decent. So, there you have it. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And hit the like button if you like watching my videos. Um, please go check out some of the other ones that I've posted. This is after uh, two coats of the future on it. And you can see there is quite a better gloss across the top of the car. Let's see if I can move the light around give you a better view there yeah now you can see that gloss on there so the future does work and I definitely brought this paint job alive so there you go Thanks for watching. I really hope everybody has a great day. God bless.